When most people think of Black Rock, they think Burning Man and the Playa. And that's with good reason. Burning Man is world famous, and the Black Rock Playa is one of the largest desert playas in the country, second only to the Great Salt Lake. But there is so much more to experience in the Black Rock area. Join me as my friends and I explore beyond Black Rock. We launch our journey the morning of our third day from our campsite in the shadows of the North Black Rock Range. The morning out here is something to behold. The absolute peacefulness of the desert morning is hard to find elsewhere. This campsite allowed us to circle the wagons, so to speak allowing us to create the perfect community area for a potluck dinner and breakfast, as well as some good fireside chats. After we packed up, one of our party would be leaving this morning to head home, while the rest of us pushed on to explore beyond Black Rock. Right outside of camp, we caught sight of a real cowboy watching these cows. This wasn't just some dude on a horse. This was the real deal. This guy looked like he'd been out there for weeks. As we left the borders of Black Rock, all at once, the scenery changed as we entered the Lahontan Cutthroat Trout Study Area. Aspens displaying their glorious fall colors cut the drab pale green of the sage flats and hills. We stumbled on this old homestead and had to investigate. Turns out, this old place is called Stanley Camp, named after Roy Stanley, who built the place. Roy was a sheep farmer out of Cedarville in the Surprise Valley of California in the early 1900s, who built this homestead in this little piece of paradise to graze his sheep. He would bring his family out here to live during the spring grazing season. The homestead was complete with cabin, small barn, chicken coop, outhouse, and wool storage barn with root cellar. Such a cool old place and testimony to the hardy folk who scratched out a living out here in the high desert. All through the Lahontan, the aspens dressed for fall continued to impress as the thickets and groves along the hillsides reminded me of a patchwork quilt. Finally, we pushed beyond the borders of Lahontan, leaving the aspens behind.
As we crested the ascent into the little hidden valley where the lake we were shooting for was nestled, we were immediately impressed by the ancient looking rock formations that stood like sentinels guarding our passage. It looked like a scene out of the Lord of the Rings. After poking around the lake, we landed on this epic campsite. Though not next to the water, this little grove of aspens provided the perfect amount of cover from the wind with an easy walk down to the lake. After we set up camp and had some dinner together, Jeremy shows us his idea for a fire bellows using his leaf blower. More power! More power! <laughs> yes! Oh, yes. Oh, that's hot. We sat around the fire laughing, telling stories, and reliving tales of bygone days, while the kids played some obnoxious card game behind us. It was a great night.
I'll do it for you to watch it. This turned out to be a great spot. Brian even caught some fish. But the sun was starting to climb the sky, and we all had long drives home at the end of our trail. So we packed up and headed out. The trail out was just as amazing as anything we had experienced thus far. Steep hill climbs, stunning views, it was adventure all the way to the pavement. After airing up, we headed to Denio Junction for some fuel and to get a bite to eat. Except, they run out of food. So, after saying our goodbyes with promises of seeing each other again on the next trip, we headed our separate ways toward home. I hope you've enjoyed coming along on this adventure beyond Black Rock. We'll see you out again on the trail. And until next time, adventure on. <laughs>